Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Dream vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We've got a can of the Pale Ale Project by Beyond the Pale Brewing. Damn right, this was given to me by the awesome individual known as Ron from Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. Thank you so much, Ron. The beard loves you, man. You're... Ron from Lake of the Woods is one of the most awesome, like, new friends I have made in a long time. He's just... He's... Ron, you're the fucking best, dude. Seriously. The beer festivals I've done with you, only been two of them. Gonna be three soon, but I have had a hell of a great time. I got like a man crush on you, I'm sorry. Let's crack this open, and let's see what we have got. Looks a little bit like a pale ale. Actually, it doesn't really look like a, the typical pale ales I've had in a little while. The last little while have been kind of darker than that. That's a, that's a pale, pale ale that I'll now take a picture of. Yeah, she's definitely pretty hazy. Unfiltered-ish, I guess you'd say. Not like super, super cloudy, but... Not bad, and the aromas coming off it already from like this far away are pretty enticing. Oh yeah, there's some like big citrusy aromas going on for sure. It smells really, really nice. Kind of it's a juicy smell. Not like an uh not like an IPA juicy smell. It's a little bit like uh it's a pale ale juicy smell. Yeah, that's the thing that makes sense. Let's give her a shot. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's a really nice bitterness going the, the whole way through that flavor. And the hoppy juiciness is just bloody fantastic. Oh, yes. That is one of the tastiest pale ales I've had in a little while. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and you're damn right there's a huge cheers going out to you, Ron. Thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, that's delicious. Really, really easy drinking if you like a beer with a nice bitter profile to it like i do i'm a big fan of that uh where are we here Kupa! beyond the pale yeah just beyond the pale.ca check them out they are located where ottawa independently brewed in ottawa canada at beyond the pale brewing 250 city center avenue bay 110 ottawa ontario canada yeah okay that's quite the address Artwork is by Andrew King. The ingredients are water, barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. Date is not on the can. That's the only bad thing. You're like the year. Actually, it's funny. I want to say, was it yesterday or the day before? Things get melted together. The. The hell was it? Boschkung? It was Boschkung. Their cream ale. It was the opposite of this. They had their date, but no ingredients. So. I can't say which I want more or less. I guess the date is kind of the really important one. The brewed on date. That's what I want. That's what most people want. Ingredients. If you have like a good reputation and you're known for using just nothing but all natural type stuff, then you can kind of get away with it. But in my opinion, you should just always have it. I didn't say that either. At Beyond the Pale, we believe in fun. Beer should be fun to make, fun to drink, and fun to share. Enjoy. We're really good at this. They are good at this. Definitely haven't had a lot of beers by these guys. Actually, come to think of it, I can't recall a single one I've had by these guys, but I'm sure I've had at least one. Let's go Beyond the Pale on my channel, and we will find... Aromatherapy, which was one of the best IPAs I've ever had in my entire life. And that seems to be the only one I've ever had. 
Surprisingly, I did, I, Ron, was it Ron? I think it was Ron. Ron gave me another can of that at the Haleybury Beer Festival. And, oh, I didn't think I was going to have it again for who knows how long, but yeah, it was just as good as the, as I remembered. Beyond the Pale, I'd like to try more of your beer. I'm rambling on way more than I should be. I've been recording for eight minutes and 50 seconds and I still got waited. Let's, let's do this shit. Yeah. It's always a sign of a really good beer when you don't even want the little bit coming down on the outside of the glass to go away. All right, nope. You're all mine. It's great. Let's give a little check at the ratings for this bad boy. Untapped. I don't know if I said 4.9% alcohol. Apparently 28, 28 ABUs. Yeah. American bitterness units. Ha! That seems like something they might try to do. Like we want our own thing. Anyway. 3.82 out of 5, 1446 ratings overall. Crisp citrus hop with a hint of malt. Crushable. Hashtag crushable. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Again, just nice citrusy flavors coming back at me. This beer is great. And the label is pretty damn cool, I gotta say like I'm not sure exactly what it is but it's some kind of like machine type thing where you know it goes through and through and through and does all this crazy shit and then at the very end of it over there at the bottom it pours out into a beer that's I like it I like it I like it it's a nice label just come to think of it aromatherapy which is up there it has a forever place in the kind of wall of fame. That was a really cool label as well. Like the kind of the hop cone really stylized and done by an artist that I like to think I would have given credit to if it's the same style as this. I hope I did in that vlog a while back. It was a while back. Ah, oh, 11 minutes now. Crushable is an, a very good descriptive term for this beer. It's really nice. A hot summer day. Yeah, it would just be gone. Rate beer, 92 overall, 95 for the style. That's not bad at all. Really a great easy drinking APA. Very juicy. Good mouthfeel. Thick lace. I'm not getting the thick lacing. I'm not really getting any lacing. I don't know. I like to think I keep my glasses pretty clean. Maybe there, there, there's a tiny film or something in the water here in North Bay being left on the glasses. It's still tasty. It's still damn tasty. Yes, very much so. Now serving 12 ounce pours. You weren't serving 12 ounce pour? Like what's a 12 ounce pour? That's like a, that's a small pour. Were you only doing pints before or something? Were you not serving? I don't know. New Ontario, the one here in town, one of two here in town actually, the Big Water Brewing Company is definitely some individuals that Redbeard is going to be going to visit. It's a newer brewery that's opened up here in North Bay quite recently. And it's like, it's not been really publicized at all. It's kind of an under the radar. And we're gonna, we're gonna get to the bottom of that. Yes, indeedy. Drink number the last on this one. Mmm. 
Mmm. Delicious. Beyond the Pale. Pale Ale Project. Apparently one of a bunch of Pale Ale Projects you've done. From what I saw over there. Wait, before I do it. 85 overall on Beer Advocate 20 ratings. Sorry, I hate when I forget one of them. Rating. Very solid. Mm, we're going eight and a half. Would have been a nine if you had a date. But there's no date. Let's give it one more little check. Maybe it's like in the labeling somewhere. But it doesn't seem to be. And it's like carbonated and kind of come back on me. It's attacking me. But it's a rating. So we're doing. Yeah, we're done. That's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then smash that subscribe button. And if you guys have something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Beyond the Pale, you are most definitely two for two. For your beer, uh, your both beers that I had by you were bloody brilliant, freaking fantastic, effing ecstatically to my mind. I don't know, the E doesn't work as well. That, that we're done.